this is what we have. We got 72 questions, and so, man, we need 52 points. That's six, 56 points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a system of equations to represent this problem, I guess. So we're going to write an equation based on the number of questions and one based on points. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the correct the questions that she gets correct to be my x. That's the number of correct questions. And the number of incorrect questions, oh man, there we go, of incorrect questions will be my y. So based on the questions, we have correct questions, then we've got incorrect questions, like that, right? If I combine these two, then I end up with 72 questions. Is that okay? So, All right, then on the other hand, for points, we've got correct questions and incorrect questions. The difference here is that you get one point for every correct question. And for every question you get incorrect, which is the Y, we're going to take off a third of a point. And then overall, we need a total of 56 points or more, if I understood that correctly. So I want to say this is technically one of those inequalities like this. In other words, when we solve these two equations, uh, we're going to end up with the minimum number of questions we need correct or the most we can get incorrect. So uh, working with this one, uh, I don't know. I personally would just use elimination on this one. So for example, well, then let's do it with substitution, okay? So at least have one person saying they can do it with substitution. What this means is that I'm going to change this equation into slope-intercept form. So I got y equals negative x plus 72. Is that all right? So in this second equation or inequality, again, we're looking for equality kind of, I'm going to replace my y with that negative x plus 72. So I have the 1x minus the 1 third, but my y now gets replaced with negative x plus 72. And this, of course, should be greater than or equal to 56 points. And so now I'm going to distribute that negative 1 third into the parentheses. So I got uh, positive one-third x, and now this is minus 24, I think. I should check, shouldn't I? Now what I have on the left side of this inequality or equality, really doesn't matter which one you do, I can, I can combine like terms on this one. So my one x plus the one-third x, I'm just going to make it a four-thirds x. Does anyone have any questions? And from here, it's just like solving a regular equation, so I'm going to add 24 to both sides. And this means that I got uh, 80 on the right side. The 24s cancel out, and I've got 4 thirds x now. So we can do this in two steps or one. It's not really going to matter, but uh, I'm just going to do it in one just to save time. I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient. Divide by four thirds, and that cancels out the four thirds here. So I've got an x. We don't usually divide fractions like that. We usually multiply them. So I've got 80 times the reciprocal of four thirds is three fourths, and 80 times three fourths. When we combine these, I get 60. If I've done that correct. So the number of correct answers, is that all it was asking? This right here tells us that she has to score, or she has to at least, she has to get at least 60 questions correct. Which means the most she can get incorrect for a score of 56 
would be, what is that, 12? Okay. But I'm okay with just writing that. 